Today, I want to talk briefly about the emergence of a new kind of resistance among pathogenic microbes. In recent years, there's been more and more news about superbugs, typically bacteria that become resistant to the drugs that we use to treat them. We've seen more and more patients across the world come in with superbug strains of tuberculosis, or gonorrhea, or malaria, and the standard regimen of drugs used to fight it off are less and less effective. We're at the point now where several of the worst superbugs are resistant to virtually everything we have. In terms of the evolutionary arms race, at this point we're relying on the real-time discovery of working medicines just to get something, anything, to use to treat the patients. There's a lot of fear about which strains will become resistant in the future, and which life-saving antibiotics will become ineffective. Now, alcohol is not an antibiotic per se. Stuff like alcohol swabs and alcohol-based liquid hand sanitizers are used as disinfectants because the alcohol chemically disrupts and destroys the plasma membranes of the bacteria. Their unicellular bodies are destroyed, and by washing the area with water, like by washing your hands after using soap, you literally wash off the bacterial remains. The standard reasoning has been that we really have to worry about antibiotic resistance because it's a real thing that's getting worse and worse as time goes on. But we don't really have to worry so much about alcohol resistance because alcohol is just so overwhelmingly lethal to bacteria that they can't really evolve against it in the first place. Well, according to a new study, that standard line of thought is no longer true. Researchers at the Peter Doherty Institute for Infection and Immunity in Melbourne, Australia, have recently identified a strain of vancomycin-resistant enterococci bacteria called Enterococcus faecium. Vancomycin is a common antibiotic used to treat enterococci, but a strain of the bacteria evolved resistance to that, and it became VRE, vancomycin-resistant enterococci. And now it looks like the VRE is also becoming resistant to alcohol. In their paper, the authors say, and I quote, The development of alcohol-tolerant strains of E. faecium has the potential to undermine the effectiveness of alcohol-based disinfectant standard precautions, and may, in part, explain the increase in VRE infection that is now widely reported in hospitals in Europe, Asia, the Americas, and Australia, unquote. Now, several years ago, Australia began a national hand sanitizing campaign, which encouraged people to use soap and wash their hands after using bathrooms or touching dirty equipment or, you know, whatever. And in short order, they saw the rates of infection of various diseases go down. Stuff like MRSA was being stopped cold, and new cases became relatively rare. But in contrast to the trends seen in other species, VRE infections began to climb. The researchers' experiment involved sampling VRE strains from 2015, and from strains that were isolated as far back as 1997. Samples of the VRE strains were grown in petri dishes and exposed to alcohol, and they saw that the modern VRE strains, which had at least two more decades to evolve a resistance to alcohol, were relatively unfazed compared to the older strains. The older strains, kept in petri dishes for 20 years, would have had much less exposure to alcohol, and thus would have never developed a resistance against it. Tim Stenier is a microbiologist from the University of Melbourne, and he co-led the research effort. Stenier said, and I quote, We were also able to identify and document the specific genetic changes that have occurred in the bacteria over the 20 years, which also helps to explain the increased tolerance, unquote. Naturally, more research has to be done. We have to figure out what genetic changes cause this resistance, and what they do, and then how we can work against that. Only time will tell if this turns into a superbug with disastrous consequences, where a common hospital nuisance becomes an untreatable and dangerous plague. In the meantime, make sure you wash your hands properly. That means a 30-second exposure to soap, followed by a rinse with water. Otherwise, you'll end up helping the superbugs that will kill us all. So don't do that. That's bad.